Hello, everybody. My name is Aaron, or you can also call me Bokusatsu. And welcome to episode 25 of the Boku Cast, everyone's favorite Tokusatsu podcast. With me, your lovely host. And today, well, fuck, we have a lot of topics to talk about. <laughs> okay, let's get this one out of the way. Uh, I saw Ant. I saw Ant. <laughs> what the fuck? I saw Ant Man Quantum Field today, and it was a alright movie. Wasn't the best. To be fair, I wasn't like all that excited for it because I thought the movie came out last month. Until I, until I until like I look it up and uh, nope, it nope it didn't come out last month. I also thought I also thought it would come out in March. No, it didn't. It came out. It came out this weekend. This week, yeah, the movie was alright. It wasn't the best. Kang was the best part of the movie, I can say by far. But besides that, that's best basically it. It had some it had some humor here and there that I enjoy, but yeah, that doesn't say much. I give the movie a four out of ten. My my uh biggest like I think I say I think I can say this best bet like uh my biggest. Problem. My biggest problem with the MCU is that uh, that right now I just don't care for them anymore. Like the last time an MCU movie got me this hyped and fucking excited was Wakanda Forever. I love that movie. But that's it. After that, I don't know, dude. Like I enjoyed No Way Home. It was a good movie, but not perfect. I do think it's overhyped. Uh, Chung Chi. I actually love that movie. One of my favorite. One of my favorite MCU movies. Uh, let's see what else? What else? What else? Not multiple man. It was kind of mid and, and overrated in my opinion. Uh, what else? Uh, no, I think that's it. And yeah, though, right now the MCU isn't getting my attention because still, like I'm full. Like I'm, I'm actually am. I fully am. I fully am a. I fully am a fuck. I'm fully excited for uh for Guardian of the Galaxy Guardian of the Galaxy Three. I like that. I'm excited for that movie. I just don't like care. I just I'm just like I'm just not uh fucking uh feeling it for the MCU right now. Excuse my language, but I'm just not feeling it for the MCU right now. It's just it's not getting my full attention, like many other stuff I can say happening in my life right now. Like, I don't know, dude. MCU, cool and all, but I just, I'm just not hyped for it anymore. That's for sure. I'm excited for a few things, but just not all. Like, I, like, <sighs> I need to start saying, like, for example, Lo Loki came out. I didn't care for Loki. I watched it. It was boring. I'm sorry. I did not like Loki. I thought Loki was, I thought Loki was boring. When I watched that show, Falcon and Soldier was decent, but uh, right now, but uh, part this part of me, but uh, there are a few things. There are a few things that you know show that they age well right now. Twenty twenty three, just saying. Wonder Vision was meh. It was alright. What if was good. I can say that basically that that doesn't say much, and uh, what else can I say? Oh yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, Moon Moon Knight Moon Knight was all right, but not perfect. And yeah, yeah, that bas that's basically it for me, for MCU. Like I'm not like fully excited for it anymore. As I used to be. I used to be full. I used to be. I used to be fucking excited when uh. When the Infinity War saga was happening, how even before that begin MCU, I was excited. Now, not really, not really, not not really, not really. That, but that's just my opinion. MCU is kind of whatever at this point for me. So yeah. So on to our next time. Oh god, oh god, what am I doing? <laughs> So, I watched me. I hate him for this. I don't hate him, but I know he's watching this. I know you're watching this. 
<laughs> God. Okay. Uh, so Ak Akakarinko. Akakarinko. <laughs> Me and my friend we watched the latest two episodes back to back. And oh god. So so book what happened then? Well Well Episode three was basically this. Hammy called Judo, well, sorry, Inuta, her pet. God, that's not, that, that's not what would happen. No. The teacher who was horny for Ju for Inuta, her and Sena had a fucking lesbian sex scene. Show. No joke, Ashley did. And, uh, well, there was, there, well, there was, a uh, painting evolved. The painting had to do with it. God damn, what the fuck is this show? <laughs> the painting had to deal with it. The painting, that was a part of it, unfortunately. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was something. <laughs> no, it was, it was actually torture and painful. My eyes were burning the whole time. <laughs> and that same episode... Inuta, Inuta's friend. I forgot. I forgot fucking name. I call her May. May from Saber came in to save him, and uh, well, she brought him to his house, and she asked him, to, asked her, asked, she asked him, do you want to have sex with her? And like, and, and he was like, wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, what? Are you sure? Motherfucker didn't, motherfucker didn't hesitate, that's for sure. He was getting some smooches on, that they know he passed out. Thank God he did. I got, I can't, I can't, I can't, I hate this show, dude. I, I, I actually hate this show. If you see my Twitter, you know how badly, you know how much I hate this fucking show. Sorry, how much I hate this freaking show. It is bad that it makes shows that are watched and packed for J-Drama rides way more enjoyable. And that doesn't say much because, my God, this show is so fucking bad. I need to start correcting. This show is so freaking bad. God. Episodes. Oh, God. The next scene is when uh, they're in the house, and the uh, next scene after that, uh, it was, he was, he woke up in her, in her bed, and uh, well, he went back home, got dressed, and uh, he was minding his own self, and uh, well, seeing his character, I forgot, fucking, I forgot the freaking character's name, well, God, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, her plan is that uh, she wants to bang Inuta. Inuta. She wants to take his virginity. <laughs> That's basically what she wants to do. She wants to take his virginity. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> and uh, uh, May's character isn't is about to have that. And uh, well, they're now dating. The fuck? The fuck is this? <laughs> Fuck it, this show, dude. That's for sure. Yeah. Next episode. Oh yeah. See a fucking. Uh, I want to say that. Main character lied to Inuta. Inuta saying that uh. <laughs> God damn it. That uh, they had they did the birds and the bees. They did the birds and the bees. Let's say it like that. The best way for me to say it, cause well. I'm not trying to get this video deleted or removed from YouTube. So let's say birds and the bees. By the time in my channel monetized, this video, this video can get fucking demonetized for sure. Oh god, I need to stop cursing too. How many times have I said I need to stop cursing? Like what? Anyway, episode four. Oh god. Episode four started off. Fuck! What the hell happened? What the hell happened? What the hell happened? Beginning episode four. God, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah. 
If I can remember beginning episode four. This is when this is the episode that uh she told Inuta that uh Inuta, Inuta that, that they had sex. She lied to him by the way. They 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 didn't do the birds and the bees <laughs> God damn it's fucking show. <laughs> if you can tell right now, I'm trying the best way to describe this cause this show is horrendously bad. <laughs> like my guy's so bad, like freaks. <laughs> I never wanted to. F I never wanted to watch a, a show that is so bizarre. Where, we yeah, I have O Ranger for that. Oh, don't worry. We're gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about O Ranger really soon. Okay? I'm gonna destroy that show in this on in this, in one of these segments. But back on saying episode four. God, I can't. I can't say how to stop because I'm not trying to get time to delete it. I'll say it like this. This we have in this episode. A, 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 it had an episode of Taro's dad, who paying a note to his father, but Inuta's, well, they know the, Inuta's father, his uh, partner, Hammy, wants to bang him because he's horny for him. Like, no jokes, he actually is. <laughs> you think I'm lying? No, go out the show for your. <laughs> actually, no, I'll take it back. Well, I'm not lying. Another scene is Inuta and his friend looking for, well, Inuta's, well, best friend. And we find out, and we find out where he is, he's in, he's in the club. If you know what club I'm talking about, you know what? I'm not going to say the word. He's in the club. And, well, the kid isn't having a fun time, that's for sure. God. <laughs> best way for me to describe it is that he is having too much fun. <laughs> oh god. The next scene the next scene if I remember was May's character uh was in the classroom cleaning off the chalkboard and Santa's character come in and uh well she was sitting on Inuta's desk and the next scene of that she put her hands on her poops. Okay. God, this show, this show, this show, this show. <laughs> the next scene, it was dark time. In Utah, and, her, and his best friend's girlfriend went to go find well his best friend, and uh, they did that. Mace character followed them, and well, they all went. They all. They all found him, and uh, the guy who was in charge of the club said, "Oh yeah, I, I'll free, I'll free your friend. You just gotta do one thing. I need, I want to see you bang his girlfriend." I see you know that's basically what he said. He literally told you, Utah, "I want to see you bang, bang uh, your friend's girlfriend." And, oh yeah, Missy, you can join him too. And uh, her response, oh god. Don't worry, he didn't do it, thank God. He didn't do it, thank God. <laughs> oh, God. He he knew the whole time that Inuta's father, Inuta was the detective, of, uh, Inuta was the son of, uh, of, of the police officer who's trying to take down all of the clubs, we can say. And they tell him, get him the information. At the day, he let his friend go. Well, he did it all right somehow. He got a call from Hammy, who she 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 called him his pet, her pet, her dog. My, I, that's basically what she said. And well, he told her something. And he got the information to, to, to the guy. Uh, I'm not gonna. F just to put it like this, if you want to know what the, if you want to know what else happened, I'm not gonna say it's too freaking inappropriate. It's too inappropriate right now. Go watch, go watch the show for yourself. Moving on from that torture segment, let's talk about my IRL life because well, we got got I got I got some, I got some updates for guys about that. 
So, Boku, what's going on in your life? Well, uh, <laughs> best bet for me to say is that, uh, really soon I'm about to quit my, uh, my current job. <laughs> Wait, what? No, no joke, I actually am, I actually am, I actually am really soon I'm about to quit my current job. Not yet, but, uh, soon. And, well, <laughs> if it been, this been in the making since, like, what? Yeah, since last month, to be honest. I've been working at my job for three years now, and oh uh, well. We're getting like, that That place is getting like a lot of new employees, and uh, I feel like, it feel like that I did my part already, and oh uh, well, that's good to hear. It was fun till last day, that's for sure. But there's no way in heck I'm going back, there's no way in heck I'm going back to that place after I, after I quit. Ah. <sighs> It will be fun. It will be fun driving, driving past that place for nostalgia. But still, I'm not. I'm not going back. I'm never going back to that place after I quit. Why can not quit yet, Bloku? Well, I'm. I'm still work. Well, I have. I'm still working on my resume, as we speak. It's not fully done, you can say. So yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we really soon I'm about to quit my I'm about to quit my current job and uh, that's pretty uh, that's pretty cool. <sighs> Been there for three years, wasn't the best. Some good, some not so not not so bad. Other moments really annoying, you know. Well, it is what it is. And thank God. I really hate the fast food industry. That's for sure. And thank God I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. So, yay! For those who want to know where I worked at, well, I work in a fast food restaurant. Let's just say that, uh, is. Let's just say that I know that, uh, I know that Wisconsin. Oh, I can't say Wisconsin, no. I work in a fast food restaurant. I work in the fast food industry, I can say. That's, that's all we say about my job. And the, right, the, job I work, and the job that I'm working at right now, been there for three years. Planning really soon. Actually, like, really soon to quit, and that's good to hear. So, yay for that. Yeah, though. Uh, leaving this job probably the best thing that's best thing coming out of 2023 right now. And on Black History Month too, yo, for though this Black History Month been pretty good for your boy. I can't lie. Pre your Nago yesterday. Finished my payment for Jeets as well. Hell yeah. Yeah though, yeah yeah no no lie though. Uh, we soon I'm about to quit my current job. <sighs> Just been the making for a while, and that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna miss a lot of people and make friends there, but at the same time, it's it was this was bound to happen. I wasn't gonna say that forever. I, I, it's crazy, though, because I had a crazy dream one time. I think it was last year that I was working a job. I was working, I was working that job in my 30s, you know. And my son, who and my little, and my son was one of my customers. Same for my wife. It was pretty crazy. The dream was the dream. The dream I had for it was weird, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, though. Me leaving this place. Best decision, best decision I'm gonna make. So yay for that. Yeah, right now I my 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 IRL life get pretty good. This is this is this is a big step, and uh well, it's gonna change. That's for sure. Ah man, crazy, just crazy though. My love life still well. Fourth day, I'm still single out there. I'm still single. <laughs> the best advice I can give for anyone that wants a girl's there, just be yourself. Just be yourself. I can't speak. I had no idea how the, how a girl, how a female body, I could say, works. Or how a female mind works. But I'll say this for the guys. Don't be someone else just to impress that girl. Just be yourself. No, don't. This could be you for like, this advice could be you for anyone. If you're trying to impress your girlfriend, if you're trying to impress this girl like, 
or your partner or your boyfriend or your girlfriend just be yourself don't be someone else just be yourself just be yourself let's just be yourself like shit I want I want see, I'm gonna be myself when when <laughs> when the day I get a girlfriend not right fourthly not now they like I don't have like I don't have I don't have like no one I'm in I have like like that fourthly I have like no one I'm in love with right now that's pretty good but but for real though just be yourself don't be someone now just be yourself when you're in a freaking uh when you're in a freaking uh what's it love trying to know when you're trying when, when you date a girl just be yourself that's it just be yourself that's it so so oh shit. so moving on from that so moving on from that is that uh yeah though <sighs> let's talk about uh sentai not gonna talk about dumb birds no <laughs> Actually, want to talk about some. I want to talk about something else. This week has been a lot of Sentai anniversary for Toku shows that I like. Geki Ranger. Right now it's Bokinger 17. It was Geki Ranger yesterday. It was Magic Ranger. I think like what last week. I think it was. Yeah, beginning of the month. It was Decker Rangers a couple of days ago, and it was Abba Rangers 20th anniversary. Let's talk about Abba Ranger, shall we? Ab <sighs> 20 years! Damn! First time I watched this show was in 2018 when I bought the, the bootleg DVD from a freaking Rizzo World Comic Con over here in my location. I watched half of it, never finished it. Then I watched the whole. Then I sat down in 2020, we watched the whole entire show and loved it. And uh, my after that, my mem my memory was a little fudgy. So, then shout then shout announced they're releasing it on DVD last year, and I watched it. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. I believe just that type of show. I could just turn my brain off and say, "Damn, this show's really good." It's stupid, yes, but. That's the that's the part that's the name of Toku Satsu. You're, you're supposed to turn your brain off and have a fun time. Like, why do you think I love build so much? Yes, build's not perfect. No, but turn your brain off for build, and uh, you ha and you'll have a you'll have one fun time of experience watching that crappy not crappy watching that good old watching that good show. Same for like any other Toku show. Just turn your brain off. Don't stretch it too much. Ironic coming from me because I'm the guy that ran about Lupin Tokyo on my podcast in the past. Just, I'm just saying, turn your brain off when watching Abba Ranger, and that's the best, and that's the best thing I could say about it. Turn your brain off, and you ha you have one hell of a fun time. And that's basically Abba Ranger, though. <laughs> Characters are enjoyable. Villains are actually really good, not gonna lie. The soundtrack and character songs are really good. I think the weakest one in the amount all is probably Abba Black's Oscars. I I know, I'm just not feeling it. Even though Oscar even though Oscar is one of my favorite characters in the show because his fucking love story with Mikoto. Wait no wait no not Abba Killer. Wait, was it Mikoto? Not fuck. Johnny, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, that love story you have of her, probably the best part of the show, in my opinion. Because my god, this man, this man, this man grew some ball, this man put on big boy pants <laughs> to get back the woman that he loved from the Evolution, and I fucking loved it. <laughs> like, let's go, Oscar, let's go, my boy. <laughs> I love Upper Ranger. But yeah, 20 years this show been on air. That's crazy, though. Like, next year is Decker Rangers 20th anniversary. And boy, I cannot wait for that. I We already know. They're going to be a movie. They're going to be a fucking movie. They're going to be a fucking movie. I already know there is. I'm not be mad about it. 
they're gonna make a fucking movie. I already know that they're gonna do some damn memorial, something for Decker Ranger. Now, if now, here's what I gotta say. The we already had the arson changers for Decker Master and for the main five Rangers, and the Fire Force one for Bond. Here's my theory. They never made a arson version changer for Tetsu for his for his Decker Break changer. They, he only got a DX treatment for it. Now what I'm trying to say, I can see them uh, doing a memorial Decker Break changer for Tetsu. But yeah, at the same time, it would be pretty hard for it would be pretty hard for him to get actor to uh, come back because his actor retired from the acting industry after uh, well I think I think the SPD dub yeah they got the doctor now too so also that too, also that as well but yeah though I will yeah though, if that if that does happen if if they do a memorial Decker break changer I'm buying it. Because Tetsu's one of my favorite six rangers and one of my favorite kids in the Decker Ranger. And having his change in my collection would be a hell yeah. At that, I just need to go hunt down the Arsene Decker Master one. That, that one's going to be a fun one to go hunt down. But yeah. The, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Alba Ranger 20th anniversary is crazy though. It's crazy how uh, yeah one of my one of the Sentai that my well I could say second Sentai crazy how uh, yeah the second Sentai that I watched that got me into somewhat the to Toku in around twenty eighteen. But to be fair, I, to be fair, Bill to be fair, Bill got me into fully the to Toku in twenty twenty. But you know what I'm trying to say? One of the Sentai shows that I watched it's now 20 years old, and yeah, I'm 23. Jesus Christ, what the hell have I been doing in my life these past three years? Oh, yeah, I was working and saving money and buying toys. <laughs> and now here we are. Damn, though, our brain just turned. Damn, our brain just 20. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I can't lie. <sighs> Damn. I love the show. I love Yuga. Best Santa Dad. I love. You so I love Ronnie. I like Oscar. I like the supporting character. I like the villains. I love Abba Killer. Well, Nakato Sensei. The fucking Gelp. The raw six ranger ever. The peakest. The peak. The peakest six ranger we ever had. Just saying, he basically is. He's way better than a well whole soldier. No doubt, we fair, both your cat. Both both those six suck ass anyway. In my opinion. In my opinion, ain't bad at Conado. To be fair, Conado is just a horny bastard, just like Pat Green. I'm not taking that back about Sakio. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Abba Ranger turns twenty, and uh, I'm I'm pretty happy about that. I can't wait. For, I can't wait. Can't wait to watch the movie. Because watching that thing's gonna bring back memories of why I love this show. Because I saved them over time. They like no other shows like Decker Ranger and Cure Major that had the same energy to me that that's special to my heart. I'll bring just in there with those two. Because those are my like top three Sentai's. Decker Ranger, Cure Major, Abba Ranger. All written by our boy Nask Nasuka no, Nasuka Akawa, Nasuka Akawa. You know the fucking bastard that wrote well the peak of Sentai's. I just name Akawa. I fucking love this guy. He he could be cooking this month, though this year in fact for Alba Ranger. Next year he could be cooking again for Decker Ranger. I'm just saying this man will be cooking. Really soon for Decker Ranger next year. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, this fucker's back here again. What, what's he cooking this time? <laughs> I can't wait for Decker Ranger's 20th anniversary. That one's gonna be a fun one. We already know that they're gonna do like a fucking V Cinema. Because it's Decker Ranger. It's a fan favorite. It's coming from me. 
a deck the number one deck ranger fan fanboy. I'll say fan yeah, the no one the number one deck ranger fan. Because boy, it makes no fucking sense why the Hurricane Kendra cast well all four, I know each actor wasn't in the press in the press conference event for the movie. It made no sense why the Operator cast will have a 20 year anniversary movie in a press conference. We yet, we already, yet, we already know, we damn know well, Dead Range is gonna get one. We damn know, we damn know that they're gonna get one. They're gonna get one. And for those that have been asking, wait a minute, wait a minute, bro, but on, but on the Dead Ranger cast Twitter page, they're showing them next to Road 24. Yeah, uh, here's the thing about that. The World of 24 is basically, well, shit, the 20th anniversary for the show. Also, at the same time, that the the cast do it. The cast do time to time is fan fan events, and and they talk about their time and experience on Decker Ranger. So there's also that too. If not, they're not doing that for the 20th anniversary. Trust me. Relax. We we will know when they will get to the twenty fifth anniversary for Decker Ranger, and I will be one of those. I will be one of those fuckers. I'll be like, oh hell yeah, let's fucking go. Where's my money, Bandai? Take my money. <laughs> oh boy, I cannot wait. <laughs> I cannot wait. It would be crazy if Bandai like they fucking reissued the Arson Changer. Well, to be fair, they can't cause they freaking. They freak the we basically had the memorials and those are basically the arson the arson the changers. The arson line now. But uh yeah, back on saying it. Yeah, back on saying it, uh yeah. Auburn Ranger, twentieth anniversary, cannot wait. Gonna have a fun time watching it. And uh well here goes another another twenty years for for this fucking to the best dinosaur Sentai team. I said what I said. Don't worry, I love Kiryu. That's number two. Happy like 15th anniversary of Kiryu. That show. <laughs> you gotta be pretty brave to enjoy Kiryu. I love, I, love, I love that show. But yeah. But yeah. <sighs> Upper Ranger. Turn to Alba Ranger, can't wait for that movie. Can't wait for the 20th anniversary movie. Happy 20th, happy 15th anniversary to Cure You, Jer. That's pretty, that's cool as well. Deck Ranger turned 19 this year. Don't worry, next year's gonna, gonna be the meat and potato for that show. We already fucking know, guys. We already know, next year's gonna be the meat and potato for that show. <laughs> because... Last year was Hurricane Jer. Last year was the year Hurricane Jer for like content wise for that show. Like, for real, they got, they get, they announced a fucking Dawn Brothers spinoff. Not just that. Not just that. They got, they were, <laughs> the Dawn Brothers, the they, they, Dawn Brothers, they, the Dawn Brothers literally did a freaking. Toby literally did a like freaking Dawn Brother slash Hurricane stage show multiple times in Japan. The Hurricane cast began a lot of notice. Well, Japan, Japan loved Hurricane fan favorite. And last year was the training anniversary for that show, so yeah. We already, we already know, guys, that next year could be Decker Ranger, so there's no reason for us to panic. And Trump is coming from me, so can't wait to see my. I can't wait to see these bastards again. Bun, Hoji, Jasmine, Sen, Yumiko, maybe Tetsu, maybe maybe Akira will finally come out of retirement, just like Abba Yellows. Who know? If they get Tetsu Nada in here as well, I I doubt. I fucking know they will. They'll, they'll get. Don't get that fucker back. That motherfucker loved voicing Decca Master. The last time he voiced for Decca Master was in was in Zenki. And to be fair, to be fair, he to be fair for Zenki. Zenki is a mid movie, but he was actually he was actually he was actually the best part of that movie in my opinion. Listen, I love seeing I love seeing Doggy. I love seeing that bastard. I'm like, oh hell yeah, Decca Master's here. You are not gonna be good once this fucker's here. Ah yeah yeah. 
Oh, Deca Master never stop. I'm sorry. I saw. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I just, I just love. I just love Deca Master. <laughs> Man may be a furry, but he's a badass furry. Well, he's better than American counterpart, in my opinion. So, yeah. But uh, but uh, back on, but uh, back on as I was saying. But uh, back on as I was saying. <laughs> Relax, guys. If they get me or another, they're gonna get tattooed and not a back. You go, well, let's fuck it. Let's face it. This this fucker's voice acting. This fucker's voice acting is god level. Okay, I'll take it back. Not god level, but you know what I mean. It's really good. We get Tetsuya Nada. I have not watched the episode of My Hero Academia. I gotta go there later. But yeah, Tetsuya Nada, he, he could be back at Deck Master for Kruger. I don't know yet. If they bring Tetsuya's actor back as well, just for this, like just like what they did for Albert Yellow for getting out of retirement, that'd be so cool. Like, uh, yesterday, uh, Amy's actor from Kiryuja came out about not retirement. She made a treat talking about. She made a little uh message. Uh, she made a little message, giving her gratitude for being part of Cure User. She's basically the message said that uh she just said that she she's heartwarming and excited that uh there are fans out there very day that love the show, and even though her and the cast went to separate ways, she she said she also said that she also said that uh, they felt like a huge family. When uh, they were, when uh, they were, when they were filming the show, and uh, I can tell, and we can definitely, I can definitely tell from reading that that uh, she's very excited, she's very proud of it. She must be crying tears for, for having a strong fan fan base for fifteen years. Listen, I love, I like, I love Aunt, uh, I love Amy. I love Kiryu Pink. I know I know that not a lot of people like like her, but I do. And uh, well, Kiryu Jer, I love this show. <sighs> so moving, so moving on from that. Uh, fucking uh, shit. <laughs> do, do, do. Uh, back on saying it's uh, damn. Damn, damn, what the fuck I talk about? Oh, oh fuck. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Ranger. I'm sorry, guys. I'm too tired right now. Oh, Ranger. Oh, God. Uh. Well, I'm at episode 39 of Chody Sentai O Ranger, and I can say it best bet this show effing sucks. Because this show not only has. A decent red, a milf yellow, a alright six, an annoying, annoying blue that I don't care about, an annoying blue that I don't care about, a pink that I can't, a pink that I don't even care for, and a green ranger that who's my least favorite out of the market. Okay, he just, he just sounds so annoying. I wanted to show the whole time. This show has a fucking pedophile as a monster of the week. What are you talking about, Broku? Episode 32 of Jolie Sentai Old Ranger has a monster of the week that's a fucking pedophile to younger girls. What type of younger girls? That sounds so weird. High school girls. That's all I'm gonna say. Go out the, I'm not. <laughs> you don't believe me? The episode is on Tubi. So go watch it. Come back to the podcast. Segment, cause my God, that's, my God. Yes, I know, I know. I already know that that there's a purse, mo- purse cat, a purse cat monster in the Cocky Ranger and Old Ranger team up movie. That's a pedophile. My friends told me I'm not watching that movie because of it. <laughs> Dude, this episode, this episode pissed me off today. That is officially, is officially number one, my least favorite Sentai of all time. I'll say it here as, as on Twitter. Lupat, you have been dethroned at number one. <clears throat> my new punchy bag is Choi Sentai O Ranger. Man. Man, O Ranger, you really pissed me off. 
Look at one. Look at one. Lupet still sucks. But O-Ranger over here sucks way more donkey spot. Oh my goodness. So not only the monster of the week in episode 32 is a, literally a pedophile. And I'm not making this up by the way. In the subs, translate in the subs, he literally he literally said that uh, he likes kidnapping. He he literally well, in the subs. I read the subtitles. The man enjoys kidnapping younger girls for his sexual fantasies in his dreams. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that this monster is a dream monster. So he liked to do this do stuff to these girls in his dreams. And there's one scene in the show that is a secret door that finds him. In there with, with, with a bunch of schoolgirls, including one day with old Pink's childhood friend, and making them playing basketball. What for basketball? Guess why? Guess why? What the basketball and, and young girls had to do? By the way, I want to say this: these girls are in our skirts. Just gonna point that out there: these schoolgirls are in skirts. Not in regular pants or in basketball clothes. Nope, in skirts. <sighs> yep, that happened, and that's the thing in this. That's the that thing in this episode, and I hate it. So not only the not only the monster of the week is a is a perverted pedophile, he's a creep, and he literally got horny for these younger girls. What the fuck is O Ranger? Why is this in the show? It is disgusting. My God, this get the fucking Captain Monster from Die Ranger look innocent. I hate that episode, of Die Ranger. I don't even like Die Ranger. I thought Die Ranger wasn't even that good of a show because it's overhyped for me. But my God, who the f who the hell thought it was a good idea? To say, hey, you know what? Let's make this monster a pedophile. No, besides that, let's give him a fetish for teenage girls. And besides that, let's make a scene of all the young girls with skirts do basketball. Who, who, who was horny in the writer's room for writing that? Cause that, I know, I know, old Rangers suffer through the, through the tragic event that happened. After around the first eight episodes. But my God. I never thought. I never thought a show like this would get me so mad. The last time I got mad at a show that isn't Die Ranger. It was Tokuger. Because boy I did not like Tokuger. Like no joke. I thought Tokuger was garbage. I did. I tried to turn my brain off watching it, but it did not work out because that show really got me mad. <laughs> my God, this show made Ghost Sage look good. And that's coming from me. I don't even like Ghost Sage. I thought the show was garbage. I rather we watch Go Kaiger. I don't even like Go Kaiger, dude. I rather we watch Time Ranger, and I thought Time Ranger was mid. Thank God I'm going to watch Car Ranger next, but man, O-Ranger really is crappy. So, not only all of our Rangers, not only all of our heroes are complete garbage and one-sided characters, our monster, the monster, is a, we got a monster to show who's a fucking perverted pedophile. I'm not making this up, by the way. It's actually true. It's in the show, and it's disgusting, and I do not like that episode. And don't get me started on the fucking movie. I watched the movie. I'm still confused, but what the fuck? What, what the fuck did I just watch? And yes, I know the villain from the movie was in the show, even though... He was still useless in the, in the show as well. 
Oops, my God. At least his episode wasn't bad at 32, but damn. I really hate episode... I really hate episode 32, because that episode really pissed me off. People... People, when people talk about Old Ranger, they always bring up the freaking uh, nice body thing, or Old Pink being annoying, or the commander, the best kid in the show. To be fair, I don't even care for the commander. He's whatever. And yes, I know, he's V3, Owl Ranger, and Big One. But he isn't, but he isn't doing that much for me, to be honest. So here's how I'm going to rank all the characters, all the rangers, the six, all six of them. Oh, Red, what the fuck is his name? Don't remember, but he's the only one I like out of them all, just to be honest, on the main five. At least he does stuff, just saying. Oh, Yellow, she's a MILF. That, that's Lady what she is. Dude, no joke, I'm not, I'm not trying, I'm not, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. No offense to the actress, but no, the character acts. And looks like it had the same energy as a fucking MILF. <laughs> and that's the saddest thing about that character. Old Pink? What can I say about Old Pink? She doesn't have a character. I don't care for her. Blue? I can't stand Old Blue. He's the worst one out of them all. He's so annoying. Old Green? I just don't like Old Green. I, I can't stand his voice. His voice. I want that guy to shut up the whole entire time. <laughs> I just want him to shut the fuck up the whole entire time while watching the show. I'm still watching by the I'm almost on episode 39. <laughs> then we got Ricky. Oh, Ricky. Well, he isn't Jason. He isn't Jason from Zio. No. He isn't he is he isn't the three the three trays who get the gold range of power to heal people. Fuck those guys. <laughs> no. He's er. <sighs> Ricky's alright. I don't hate him. He like the he, he like the only second kid in the show that I like, but at the same time, he really doesn't do that much. Because my god, they said What was the point of bringing him in the show? I get it, I get it. a six range of debut, but at the same time, he 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 isn't even all that he isn't he he, he I get it. He's just there. But at the same time he isn't all that he isn't all that just he isn't all there. Well, to be fair, you know, he's in school. Yes, I know, but guess what? You wanna know? You wanna know who's also in school, but at the same time, they, same time, there's this valid reason why his character wasn't in civil uniform. Cole's the actor from from freaking Die Ranger. Like, think about it. Think about it. This. You will see moments in the show when Keeper Ranger appear, when yet, we have Cole's actor isn't even in the show. That's because that, that's because Cole's actor was in school. At, was doing school at the time, so it's also that too. <laughs> but man, Orange is just garbage, dude. This show makes Drew Ranger look good, and this come this come from me. I don't really hate Drew Ranger. But Drew Ranger is a Drew Ranger is a is a well boring show. I can say yeah, it's boring. It's fucking boring, overrated. This show. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just stick with Zeal, guys. Zeal's way better than fucking Old Ranger. God, Old Ranger just made me want to. F oh my goodness. <laughs> this show made me want to go apologize to other shows I don't like. But yet. <sighs> I'm over here saying to myself. Damn, this show really suffered after the tragic event that happened. It tried to be funny, but it doesn't work. That's literally what the show did after episode 8. It tried to be comedic, but yet it doesn't work with that. And that sucks. I, I can't tell you a single time that I laugh when watching this show. I know this one time, but besides that, that's it. And, and I don't remember it. This show doesn't even... Oh, please forget that. This show... Okay, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. This show... I don't really know what to say. I just don't. This show just sucks. 
this Joe, this Joe, wait, Joe, who the heck's Joe? No, this show just sucks. It just, it just sucks. <sighs> oh yeah, Dorian, I forgot about Dorian. I don't care for, I don't care for Dorian. She's, she's just annoying. Her voice, I just want to shut up. I can't stand the kid plots in this show. Oh my god. At least Kaku Ranger did the, did the kid plot differently. Jew Ranger and O Ranger just basically 99% kids plot at the whole time. It's just annoying. I can't stand it either. Because my god. I'm not having I'm not having a fun time with I'm not having a fun time with O Ranger, you can tell. I'm not. It's actually very bad. <laughs> because this is my well torture, you can I say, suffering because a friend of mine wanted me to like Die Ranger, but uh, he overhyped it for me. Shout out to my friend Psycho27. I know he's watching this. I know he's watching this because he because he's a big fan of my content. <laughs> I know he's watching this. Hello, Psycho. <laughs> he asked me. He know he tried to maybe well, he tried maybe enjoy Die Ranger. I totally didn't like it because it was it felt forced on me to watch it. I didn't have a fun time watching it. And now, well, after my Decker Ranger rewatch from sh when, when I got my when I got my copy from Shell, after finished that, I read a couple of days. I don't know. After, after I finished watching my rewatch Decker Ranger, I watched episode one of Ranger. I said to myself, "Huh, no, this this is this is that bad. This isn't that bad. I can't lie." But I got but my friend reminded me this that's only the eight on the first episode because. If, the first eight episodes are the only good episodes of the show. And he wasn't wrong about that. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> after that, the show goes a 180. Because, if you know what happened around that time where Orange was appearing on television, a lot of things changed behind the scenes. And one of them is the writing. If we're, we're how to do the show. It becomes, well, more comedic. And it failed. And it actually failed. It actually fucking failed. Dude, this show fucking sucks. Oh my goodness. Five men. I'm so sorry for crapping on you. I don't like your show. Oh my goodness. I read it was five men again. I don't like five men. Five men sucks. I can't tell you singing anybody in the character. What about Raimi? Raimi's overrated. Fuck Raimi. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! I rather watch Five Men again, and that show fucking sucks. I suffer for watching crap after Five Men released from Shell. My guy suffer for I suffer watching that shit DVD just for Abba Ranger. I suffer suffering watching crap for Peak. Damn you, <laughs> damn you, Toei. <laughs> oh my goodness, this show fucking sucks. Fuck O Ranger! It's ass! Oh god, I hate that show! My goodness! I'd rather watch James Cameron mid Avatar 2 movie. And that movie's boring as shit! The only good thing about that movie is the visuals, and that's six. That, I can't talk. And that's it. I went. I want to go watch Puss and Boost. I want to go watch the new Puss and Boost movie, but no. Uh, that movie looked way better, interesting than Avatar Two. And yeah, the fact that that movie beat Avatar Two in the box office just proves how much James Cameron can't. James Cameron can't take the fact that a a non CGI movie man to beat the crap out of him in the box office. Hey, uh, James, buddy. You have a you have an ego problem. You, you need you need to stop uh you need to stop dick riding yourself, buddy. Cause you say dumb shit all the time, which is which is gonna ruin your fucking <laughs> marketing for your damn Avatar movie. I'm not see. I'm not gonna watch two or four, three or four. Fuck that. Fuck that. Don't look like shit. <laughs> My God. Hell, Shin Ultraman's a better movie! To be fair, Shin Ultraman's like the only movie I enjoy from this year in 2023. 
Not gonna lie. Even though even though that movie wasn't perfect, I'm just saying it was. It's it's the, it's the only movie I enjoy from this year, to be honest. I want to watch the Puss and Boots movie, but I don't think no my family is interested in seeing it. That sucks. This is why I wish I had like a girlfriend to go see it with. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, sorry, sorry, I got off, I got off top of there, but uh, back at the same old ranger. Ah, yes, old ranger. Fuck this show. Dude, like, for real though, fuck old ranger. Old ranger, old ranger sucks. Oh my goodness. Old ranger, old ranger fucking sucks. At least Hurricane Ginger is more enjoyable. And I have a fun, and I had a grand ass fun time rewatching that show last year. Opera Ranger was fun, exciting, and I had a fun time we watched that as well. I turned my fucking brain off for Opera Ranger. Hurricane Ranger, I Hurricane Ranger, I had to we, I had to be, I had to be completely like honest and uh, trustful and uh, give it that a fresh rewatch. Cause like last time I watched this show was three years ago, I did, I did not, I did not like it. Last year, seven time, you know what? This year is the 20th anniversary of the show, so I think, I think, so I think me doing a rewatch of it would be perfect. And well, I did. I sat down, rewatch it, and I fucking loved it. Not perfect, no, but it was enjoyable, and yeah. These those shows are more fun and entertaining. Ha has good cast, good music, good suits, good villains. But O oh, Ranger, oh my god, don't care for the villain. Only two out of six of the Rangers are alright. The commander's boring. The the mechs are decent, but same time those new but same time those same time old blocker the old blocker mech look fucking ugly. And I like those mechs in Zeo. I like those Zords in Zeo more. Cause they look better in there than instead of old Ranger. My God, Oranger, 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 really making me want to want me, want me to go rewatch Zio, and I actually like Zio. That's the funny thing about it. I, I'll take that over Oranger any day. Cause Oranger fucking sucks. <laughs> oh my goodness! And I already know. I already know that it's gonna get worse after episode thirty-nine. Yeah, yes, I know about the incest which between the. Between the prince and his cousin, and they had an incest baby. Again! <laughs> Again! Who in the writer's room thought that was a good idea to do an incestuous writing between two cousins and make them have a, a incest baby? Who the f- Who? Who? Who thought that was a good idea? Who? Just tell me. Who thought that was a good idea? Who? Because I can tell you that wasn't a good idea. That was pretty dumb. Like, no, I'm sorry. That was actually really dumb. Ooh, my Aguilera figure is, uh, moving. I love this figure. <laughs> Even though, every time I take pictures of that figure, it comes one of my favorite. You know, I also just said my view, my, my, my freaking uh, review of her, that that figure Mid, mid at mid at best, and I, yeah, I still, I still stand by that. She's a good figure, yes, but uh, she's way more, you could say, flexible. But at the same time, her legs are limited, and that that uh pisses that uh, can't say pisses me off. No, that's just disappointing. But that, but that's just me. <laughs> but yeah, back to saying, do I do I. Who in the writers' room thought that was a good idea? First a pedophile monster, now in now incest, dude. I swear to God, fucking Japan. <laughs> and my dog barking. And I want to go to Japan on this day, but man, what the fuck up with these? What the fuck up with Japan and damn incest? My God, it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. This fucking incest over here in America too. Let's be honest. But. It's still fucking disgusting. 
What are you talking about? In movies, in drama shows, even in fucking like short films. Just saying. And no, I'm not defending this crap. I'm saying it right here. I did not support it. Moving on. Ugh. God, O Ranger sucks. So, uh, let's talk about Jeets. I'm le- I'm really loving Jeets. <laughs> I said I would say like last episode, but uh, every time Jeets releases a new episode, I'm loving it so much. And uh, well. You know, well, it's just fuck. It came, it came so good, God. It kind of stupid, yep, and that came so good because like the way the way the way how yet I can rank these Raywa shells is zero one, Jeets, Revice, and Saber. You know, I didn't like Revice that much because that show was mid. <laughs> well, we're calling mid. It just wasn't. It just wasn't my cup of tea. I say that, yeah, I, mean, I have fucking, I have the, I have the Aguilera figure right next to me. But to be fair, I like, I like the character. I like the suit. The suit grew on me too, so yeah. I still, <laughs> I just, I, <laughs> just remember, fucking Psycho reminded me, fucking Psycho, go say, yeah, say, fucking Psycho. <laughs> no, never mind, never mind, never mind, forget about, forget about that, sorry. But yeah, Jeets, I'm loving every episode of it. Revice didn't hit me that Revice didn't call my attention that much because well, around that time I was having a around that time in my life I was having like a crappy well a crappy year we can say in uh twenty twenty two. It was alright and decent but same time when Revice same time when Revice was airing, I was feeling like well crap. Right now, Jeets is the opposite of that because I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a mo- I'm in a stage right now in my life and my IRL life that I'm about to literally make a decision that's gonna be impactful for me forever. I'm literally about to quit my current job race and go go and look for a brand new one that I can enjoy the most, enjoy for like a very long time. In fact, I'm doing that. <clears throat> Oh, so sorry. This year, around like twelve September, I'm I'm going out of town to California. Yeah, boy. Sub offline TV. If you see if you see this video, I, I doubt you guys will. But if you do see this video, my D, my Instagram DMs and Twitter DMs are open. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I'll be laughing. I, I I'll be laughing my ass off if they see them. Now nah, they probably won't. But but back I was saying is uh. Yeah, uh, this year is the year for Bokusatsu. A lot of things will be happening this year, and uh, well, right now Jesus, Jesus helping me with that confidence, though. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, though. Uh, Jesus, 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 Jesus on my top ten now. Fuck, it's in the middle of Kruger and Black Sun, guys. Come on, leave me alone. <laughs> this show's so fucking good. <laughs> You are Takahashi, you may have failed me on Zero One and X Aid, but Jeets, keep doing what you're doing on Jeets, because Jeets is doing, Jeets is getting on my good side. For record, when this episode comes out, I have not watched the latest episode, so keep that in mind. So please do not spoil that for me. Well, Trader already did, unfortunately. Well, you know, it's Trader, so yeah. But, uh, back on the saying is, uh, Jeets, I'm, Jeets, I'm loving very really much. Good show. I loved it. <laughs> and, uh, well, <sighs> I can see myself. Well, if this show convinced me more and more, I'm really tempted to buy Desire Driver. I can't even say that out loud. But, yes, I'm tempted to buy Desire Driver. But, for doing this, I'm only buying it for k That's why. I fucking love this dork. He gets treated like crap in the show. But, yeah, he's my favorite character. Cause he reminds me of myself. And I love this dork, and I will protect him. Him and Nago. <laughs> I like Nago too. I like Nago too. See my see my opinion myself as well. So moving on, I will protect these two best characters in the show. <laughs> ay ay ay. Also, I fucking love I fucking love the intro songs. I 
the peace and uh never and what uh, what was Nagos again? Oh fuck! Well, what the freak with Nagos again? Hold on. What the hell was this? Give me language. Do 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 do. Ah, best of, that beat of my life. <laughs> so uh, yeah, though. <laughs> Jeez, come here again. <laughs> I have I have all the Jeez figures on pre-order. I can't wait till they release. Well, we are not the we are not we are not. They're gonna they're, they're gonna release the other ones. So the Jeez Riders. No doubt about it. If they release Sparrow on loop, find those two. Well, I like Sparrow a lot, athlete. Now he's getting on my good side. And Loop, well, I love me strong women. <laughs> Move aside from that, I, I like Loop's character in the show a lot. So there's also that too. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Damn. Uh, thanks for guys for listening to me ranting about well, O Ranger. Me talking about why the MCU is a hot mess. I don't care for that much. Uh, t- me talking about sh- me talking about why me talking about show I like don't like, and my I and my update in my IRL situation on my life right now. Well, yeah, right now doing pretty good. And um, yeah, they, thank you all for listening to this podcast episode. If you want, if you want to hear another one, please like, comment, subscribe, and follow my social media in the description. And I'll put a notification button up from it for my uh well next video. Which will be a toy review or a podcast or a podcast episode. My next review probably gonna be an essay figures comedy Jeet or Vice. Whatever whatever one uh whatever one future me upload first. So between those two. And uh yeah guy, thanks for listening. My name's Aaron and uh I'm out. Have a nice night or a nice day wherever you live at. Bye.